And welcome back to part 6 of the Hardcore Iron Man progress series. Not actually showing anything off here, just saying that I really need to work on my Zaya favors. I, uh, I worked on Lovakinj for a little bit yesterday, uh, so everything is... I mean, there's a little bit of rep in everything now, but... Yeah, I'm so sick of walking or teleporting to various crappy locations to get to the Slayer Slayer place. So, yeah, about 30% Lovakins, 30% Piscarilius. Uh, Shazian will just come through grinding Lizardmen, which I guess I can do off-task too. And Arceus up to 60%, I'll just do Library. After that, it will be Insult Heads, because I think I actually have enough to, uh, to finish off 100%. Yeah, I need to do this after the Thieving Grind, so that's that's probably next on the to-do list. Okay, we finally started to catch up with our Miscellanea and bank a little bit. There's 100k sitting on me, and that's what, like, five, six days of Miscellanea that it can just sit here? I'm gonna check it every, like, three days anyway, but that's, uh, that's feeling pretty good. And I made, like, 400k off a of Bloodveld test, so also feeling pretty good. Right into our first Aver Inspector task, which is... Fantastic. I was actually looking forward to this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. It's like two hours, not even two hours, until I need to start the thieving grind. So, yeah, that's just going to have to, just going to have to hold on to that. But that is, that's pretty awesome. Okay, started this grind earlier on uh, about 25k before, <laughs> yeah, 25k off of 6 million XP. Uh, early level 91, like 20% of the way through the level or something. So I picked up about 1.25 million, almost. 1.225, yeah. Uh, good good start to the first day of this grind. That also means I've done something like four to 500 of these chests. And I mean, I've seen like four or five other people get scepters, but still none for me. I did not have my recorder up for that. Okay, well, we just started the day, boys. We're only like 35k XP in. So we're still like half the drop rate. Holy shit. Just got Pharaoh's Scepter. I can't believe it, dude. That means I can actually leave this place now and do farm runs every now and again. And then teleport straight back. Ha, huh. yes. Okay, here comes level 95. Yeah, that's been a long grind, as you can see. 1.5 mil knocked out today. I'm shooting for 2 to 2.5 two mil. I don't know, man. I'd like to do another 800k, ideally. But uh, anything after that is a stretch goal. Um, whether or not I get the 800k, we'll see. But I'm hoping for 99 within like another day and a half or so. When you mindlessly do this minigame for hours on end, you start to forget why you're doing it. But hey... 96 thieving and 1600 total let's go i was just thinking how yesterday on stream i was saying hey maybe i'll see another one around 96 uh okay there we fucking go okay well i have this one for teleports i have this one to use in my playground house for the altar and I don't know I could stay here for a third one to fill in the stash unit inside but I think that's a real waste so I guess I'm just gonna go do arty nights the rest of the way to 99 and build up some GP uh, yeah yeah I think that's what's happening and since I have like 300 of the seals, which is basically 300 teleports, I'm just going to sell all the rest of these. So show me the money. Bam, 95k. Yeah, I mean, that, that like doubled my current cash deck. So good enough. And we're now using mahogany logs on all our birdhouse runs. Got like 350 runs left to go. Actually, a little bit more than that, but like, like 360 runs to go to level 80 hunter. And this is... It's going to take forever. I'm getting a little tired of these, but hey, you know, the bird's nest look good in the bank value. Yeah. It's going to be really weird once I start to farm toad flax and stuff like that. And the limit to how many brews I have is going to be the toad flax, not the bird's nest. It's like completely the opposite from RS3. <laughs> it was finally time to buy the dead mushroom ring. 
and turn it into a real fairy ring. Yeah, have a little bit of GP now. And there's a quest done, Ascent of Arceus, weirdly a rune crafting level of 47. Use the favor certificate on, uh, yeah. And now we're at 60%, so we're going to reanimate the rest of the way to 100. Okay, 100% Arceus favor picked up 54 prayer too. Very nice. The end of my Piscarillus favor? Yep, 100%. There we go. Time to work on... Yeah, I don't I don't really want to burn through Lovikinch today. Sagan Tower done simply for the favor certificate. I don't care about the rest. Yeah, that saved me like 30 minutes. Okay, decided to make myself skills necklace and an extra glory, which I can go ahead and string. Uh, just the, the glory teleports are much nicer. And yeah, I mean, getting to the farming guild isn't that hard. All right, we have been thieving away. We're up to a stack of a million GP, and what is in here? Let's collect. Okay, I think I have enough mahoganys now for my birdhouses. Maybe I should let it run for another day, though. Uh, okay, 825k here. Almost up to 2 mil in total. Anyway, we're going to top this off a little bit. Deposit, like, 225k for now. And... You know, I, I think I think we're actually good on mahogany. I think we're good on mahogany. So I'm gonna take these off and put it back on the maples. Uh, yeah, I want to start stacking up on these maples. Okay, here we are, finally coming in with the level 97. Just two levels to go. Yeah, hoping to get there tomorrow. It has been quite some time since I've made a clip, but this one has been long coming. 98 thieving. So, 1.228 million to go. Yeah, I'm I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to finish it out today. We've done 850k today so far. Ignore the XP per hour on that tracker because it includes AFK time, okay? Um, yeah, I'm trying my best. Uh, we'll see is all, is all I'll say for now. We'll, we'll see if I can finish it up. Now, look, we just had to come back for the last little bit of this grind. <sighs> but there we go. 99 thieving, done. I wanted the slightly higher pet chance. I thought, hey, maybe I'll get a third uh, a third scepter for the stash unit. But hey, it's done. Time to go buy the cake. Here we are with our beautiful 3.5 mil cash stack. I, I only went there for like the last 200k. Can you tell me about your cape? Uh, sir? Oh, you buy it from the shop. I see. There we go. Okay, drop the hood. Get that garbage out of here. It is now trimmed. Beautiful. We can now do Master Farmers. I'm going to work on those a little bit. Uh, not anytime soon. I do need some birdhouse run seeds of course i'm starting to run out of those uh yeah yeah i i'm so ready to just relax and, and start working on slayer again so either i was really tired on my last run and i did not use ultra compost but i'm fairly certain i did how in the world okay just finishing up the last of the zaya quests i think uh, maybe there's there's one more uh, architectural alliance, which I am working on. And there we go. The beautiful statue is completed. Antique lamp acquired for architectural alliance. So this is going into runecrafting. It's kind of tempted to put into herb lore, but runecrafting. You know, just there. 48. There we go. Here we are at the tithe farm. Now, I've never done this before. So I'm probably going to totally screw it up on my first try, but hey, uh, we're now 74 farming, just barely got that level, and uh, we can use the highest tier seeds, so may as well do this. Uh, there are a few things I'd like to unlock, first and foremost, the herb sack and the auto weed here. I may go for the seed box just to make Master Farmers a little better, but these two are definitely uh, a lot more important. Especially since I have an Aver Inspector's task. Uh, I was about to go back to Slayer, and then I realized... Yeah, that that's just not going to work without a herb sack. 
okay, it turns out this is actually kind of stressful, at least it was, to learn the, like, 20 plant method. Um, there's auto weed done. My first two games didn't go perfectly, that's why I didn't have, like, a nice number of points there. Uh, I'm gonna work on the herb sack and get that fairly quickly, uh, and I'll slowly work on the seed box. I don't know, maybe I'll knock it out right away. It's so done in search of the Myreg. Look at those juicy XP gains. Kind of saving these up, but let's just go ahead and pop them open. Beginner, nothing. Beginner, whole bunch of hot garbage, okay? Easy. Zamorak robe legs. You know, a double unique is cool, but, um, like, do these actually have stats on them? Let's de-equip. Yeah, I mean, five prayer. They're basically mystic robe legs, but with five prayer. That's pretty sick. It's down in aid of my wreck, and I guess we're doing Darkness of Hallowvale. Found Darkness of Hallowvale, we did it. Tome of XP, we're going straight runecrafting. Okay, all three times, and we're just getting close to a level. So we are 454 XP away from 49. So I'm sure a lot of other people know this already, but the Chrono Seed, now that I can actually plant it, will apparently affect Hespori. Uh, so I'm going to sit exactly on Chronos all the time uh, until I get enough Hespori KC to, 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 I mean, see the bucket. It could take 100, but apparently you can get Hesporis in like 12 hours if you get lucky, uh, if the Chronos effect goes off. So yeah that that's the that's the plan okay we are finally done with the herb sack give me your fancy bag dude okay so we can now do our aberrant specter task but i've noticed that the current uh, second place person in the skill of the week competition is slowly creeping up on me even though a freaking 99 thieving so uh yeah i think i need to go work on some master farmers i might slowly grind towards i don't know like 15 million over the next few days um i know master farmers aren't that fast but yeah i'm, I'm gonna work on them a little bit so I went and did some clue scrolls now that i'm getting back into slayer and beginner yeah hard i mean i just had to buy a rune axe to do the hard so i guess that's a refund i guess uh yeah okay uh and this one so speak to thorgal at the entrance of the death altar i gotta do mornings in part two for this but i can do this part i can do this part if i buy a dragon battle axe because i in my absolute max strength gear that i currently have i hit 99 with the dragon skim so close so close to over 100 but uh yeah, I'm, I might do Mornings in Part 2 today. Um, I don't think it's that risky. I just need some prayer pots for it. So I'll either do it today or I'll do it a little bit later. But that will be another step done on this. And I've done five steps already, which is incredible. So that, that gives me a one in three of actually getting a Master Clue Casket. So I, mean, I have to do it, right? Bam, quest done. Tarn was no problem. That, that fight actually took almost no time. See, like 20 prayer points, didn't even have to sip from this, didn't need super energies, he's like three food. Is no problem, but I think I'm maybe just a little overgeared. Okay, there's Tarn's Lair done. Upgrade all my salves. Bam. First block test, let's get that out of here. Give me something good. Ah, that's, that's okay. Earlier on stream, I had just a little bit of a revelation, and that's, well, one, Slayer Rings give you eight teleports at the cost of just one gold bar, because it turns back into the Enchanted Gem. Very small thing, but it's very nice. Also, teleport to Monastery, recharge your prayer, instantly teleport back to your Slayer Pot, uh, your Slayer location, if it is in this cave, if it is uh, in the Slayer Tower, and, and you just, you don't have to use prayer pots at all. And you can just pray the task, use no food, basically no resources, super pots, whatever, because you have a ton of them. So nice. So look, I know a lot of people would say, hey, you gotta skip this task. But no, I'm almost out of points for one. But also, 
There is a 1 in 25.6 to get Runite limbs, and that would be my rune crossbow unlocked. Out here picking my white berries on the way to the farming guild, and this guy deserves an absolute shout out. Soul Slayer 2 just randomly says, have a good day. What a nice guy. Okay, there's 65 herb lore, which is a pretty good level. I don't think I can make... Okay, I can make the rest of this inventory on the boost, but that is going to allow me to botanical five boost up to make some anti-fires. That's going to be so good for this iron dragon task. I had just enough herbs to edge out the level, as you can see. So, yeah, botanical pie, and uh, we do the thing. Okay, you know, I have a small brain. I didn't, I didn't have any blue dragon scales banked, but maybe this is enough for now. <laughs> started the day off with a birdhouse run and i honestly didn't know you could get clues from them like i don't remember getting them in the past but i did so yeah hard casket wow just did a little bit of uh productive nightmare zone and picked up black mask in view as soon as i finished that clip i i got six hour logged right after i have no idea but that's that's kind of nuts i think that's the first or second time that's happened to this account <laughs> And this is why I didn't mind the Iron Dragon task. Bam! Runite limbs acquired. So as soon as I get up to 69 fletching, which isn't too far away, actually, uh, I can make myself a rune crossbow. Okay, earlier this task, actually just a minute ago, picked up 77 magic. But there, finally, 65 slayer can kill dust devils. Task done as well, so let's try our luck. You know, actually not complaining about worms it's a decent task and uh considering i need prayer levels to well one for tears of gothics but also just in general pretty good well red d dyed chaps are technically an equipment upgrade if only i could equip them i need 60 ranged <laughs> another hard casket from the worms task yeah okay so that's my first lizardman task which i'm happy about right that's you know, Lizardman Shamans, I need the uh, DWH eventually. The only issue is I really don't want to train ranged right now. Kind of, kind of putting it off. So, um, I think I'm going to try him with the Bone Crossbow. If that doesn't really hit, then yeah, I've got I've to figure out what I want to do. So after a lot of thinking, I think that my plan of attack is going to be, hey, Let's go for 73 smithing so that I can make some adamant bolts. Uh, let's pick up an Addy crossbow, which I can buy Addy crossbow limbs and then just throw it together, have the fletching level already. Um, yeah, and we'll try it out with Addy. Uh, bone crossbow sucks. Don't know about maging it. That's the plan of attack for now. Robbed my miscellaneous, so it's now down to 750k on the dot, and, um, yeah, 2.92 mil, we'll see, we'll see where I can get with smithing. Okay, and there is 70 smithing picked up, so I can now smith my Addy bars at some point, uh, but, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way to 71, uh, maybe after I, like, cycle through all of my gold, I might end up crafting it into bracelets, Selling those, then buying some more gold, getting to 71. So that way I can just plus two boost. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just go for a plus three with the stew. Okay, yeah, I just went and picked up some spices to boost at some point, but then I realized I don't actually have that much adamant ore. So I guess it's time to go bang out 70 mining so I can gather some. <laughs> but first, like four hours of bracelet crafting to do. Haven't made a clip in a while, but hey, there's level 67 mining. Um, day 52, by the way. Uh, yeah, this is my, my first clip of the day because I had like five hours of errands to run. Um, yeah, j just throwing that out there. Working on the mining grind. Okay, we're finally making it to this level. On to the next day and everything. Uh, it's time to go do some motherload mine. Uh, I did say... I wasn't sure whether or not I would just fill this up or if I would go to level 69, but bam, 21.6k is, is close enough to full for my tastes. Okay, got my first few Addy bars from uh, doing a little bit of MLM. 
And yeah, 70 mining there. Somehow got a plus five boost on my first two. Uh, not, not complaining, because I'm definitely going to be able to, you know, make all the bolts that I need. Um, I have 43 bars to 430 bolts. Uh, we'll see if that can do the full task. It, it might be able to. I honestly have no idea. Uh, but yeah, can finally work on that task now. And just in case I wasn't clear, had no idea this item existed in shops. But uh, yeah, adamant limbs. And I can throw that on a stock. Uh, okay, and then I can uh, spin up these oak roots into a crossbow string, I believe. And there we go. Picked up all five tiers of Shazian armor. Can now equip that and uh, go handle some shamans. Hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, got 23 kills down. Not going terribly so far. I mean, it's it's kind of slow. It's like a 20 kill trip and it costs a lot of prayer pots. It's a lot of panic prey flicking, but I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. Started working on the shaman's task, got about halfway through it, and burned through about 300 bolts, so not that great. I, mean, I had to boost again, uh, or I'm, I'm having to boost again to make some more, and this is just... This is just insane. Do you see how many brown spices I'm getting? I need orange. Well, I would say that is an interesting drop. I got a dragon spear. Uh, don't know if that's actually useful anywhere. I imagine it is a clue step. Uh, cool. Okay, we had to go a little scuffed for the last half of the last kill when I ran out of ammo. Put on the Earth Battle Staff we picked up, but uh, there's 100 kills done. Didn't see anything, but made like 200k. Oh, missed the level by just a little bit, but picked up 75 attack so I can now wield an arc light. Uh, if I decide to go make that, that'll be good for demon tasks. Uh, not sure how many of those I'm going to be doing. And I know it's good for Skodizo, but I don't plan on doing him anytime soon. I uh, kind of just want my, my totems to build up a little bit. Um, wait until I can actually do more hard and elite clues, mainly. Uh, yeah, so that's a nice little pickup. I think I'm going to work on strength now, maybe until 80, and then go back to defense. Not sure. Okay, this is kind of unfortunate, but I rolled... From Lizardmen to Greater Demons to Aver Inspectors to Lizardmen. And, like, I want to do it. It's just getting the boost for smithing sucks. So, I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to sit on it for a little bit. Um, not, not sure what I'm going to do here. Hey, it's Llama from the future having to chime in here just a little bit. I realized that I didn't actually refer to the GPU problems I've been experiencing in the video up until this next and the last clip of the video. Um, basically, I'm on an old GPU, actually the one that I used to stream RS3 on way back in the day. Uh, I had sold it to a friend, he's letting me borrow it until I can pick up another GPU because I've been experiencing some hardware issues uh, with my previous GPU that is now in the RMA process. Um, I believe there's, there's some kind of power issue there. It was causing random shutdowns, and that is not really conducive to playing hardcore. Um, you know, there's already enough issues with server stability or disconnects. You don't want your computer to crash or monitor to turn off like soup. So, yeah, uh, just need to provide a little context. Just starting off day 54 with a bit of a birdhouse run, and that kind of explains uh exactly what i'm going to be doing about the lizardman task so i've decided i'm, I'm just gonna keep mining and eventually get my smithing level up uh, i did plan on doing a lot of mother load mines to get like prospector outfit unlocked uh get the coal bag uh access to the upper floor potentially get the uh the bigger sack and after all of that is done i should have enough gold or banked just to knock out 73 smithing will no longer have to boost because boosting was taking forever. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a person that just, I don't like boosting. You know, I spent probably an hour trying to do it this time around, and I only got the boost like twice. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to try to do that again just to make more bolts, and then probably have to find a second boost to get even more bolts to finish the task off. It, it feels like a waste of time. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go mine. And while I mine on this account, sorry for the lag here, I can't help it. Um, it's just a, it's a rune light thing. Um, while I mine on this account, I'm going to be questing on my main, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how far I can get there. 
I do need to get the main account leveled up. Um, it is my previous hardcore, so it's only around a thousand total, and like a hundred quest points right now. And I'd like to get it to all four of the big Grandmaster quests so that I can learn all of the different bosses in preparation for taking them on, on this account. So, um, yeah, going to be working on that, just mining for the next few days. And with regards to the streaming thing, uh, it's not something I can realistically do right now, especially playing on two accounts at once because I'm on an older GPU. So hopefully that situation will be resolved in about a week. I am planning on purchasing a 3080 if possible, uh, and then I'll probably have to upgrade my power supply as well. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully be able to get back to streaming, and I may be streaming two accounts at once just so I can keep progressing the main, um, doing like AFK Sand Crabs or something like that. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and like if you're liking the hardcore progress. Uh, I really, I really do appreciate everyone that comments and likes on my videos. It, it keeps me motivated to keep making more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.